Welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about the new products I bought in April, which they're a lot. So I hope you enjoy because we do have a lot to talk about. Also, if you're new here, hi, my name is Nikki. I absolutely love colorful, fun makeup looks. So if you want to see a little bit more fun and color in your timeline, then just keep on watching. We have to talk a lot about uh, products I absolutely love. So let's jump right in. Listen, I didn't thought that this would be so much. First of all, but other than that, I also had a lot of gifts or a few gifts because of my birthday in April. So um, yeah, let's um, go through it. I have, like, let's start maybe with lashes. I bought two lashes by our Kiss. These ones, if you ever ask yourself why uh, I never had this kind of lash, there are the uh, Spike and Boost Volume uh, Spiky and Boost is icy and you do you. These are so big of lashes. I um, was drawn to it. Let's say it like this. I never tried these. Uh, I was also inspired by my friend uh, Waiting in Disguise, uh, Tamara, because she always has these beautiful lashes. And yeah, I was super excited to, to see them and uh, I will be excited to, to try them. And one, she bought me, like indeed, uh, for my birthday is uh, these uh, Artitude Cosmetics uh, lashes. And I don't know, where is this is say, where Artro Stream is Artitude? I don't think, oh, they're drama. They're in the style drama. I never tried them as well, so just keep that in mind. But they, they are looking like drama. I absolutely love that. Let's go to also some drugstore. I, um, there was a Jungle Book collection and there were two liners uh, by the Jungle Book collection. These were both from Catrice and this is Duochrome Eye Pencils and this is Trust Me and Python. So I bought two of them because I wanted to try them and I, of course I didn't. I forgot. Listen, they were right down in there. And then I also bought the brush as well. This is an eyeshadow brush, same collection. Um, this one is Essence though. And this is the Simba eyeshadow brush. And I feel like this is really kind of cool. I did use it. That's why it looks like this a little bit at least. Um, it's a good quality brush. And it was like quite cheap, to be honest. Um, also, let me talk about more Linda Halberg because listen. Uh, again, my friend Tamara is uh, gifting this one to me. I tried the, the Linda Halbeck Matte Attack Primer. It, like she lent it to me and I was trying it and I was like, it is really, really nice. Listen, it's really, really nice. It does indeed mattify your look. And she was like, after I wanted to give it to, to her back and she was like, do you use it? And I was like, yes, I use it on my T-zone. It's a great primer and she said, yeah, keep it. So this one, and then for my birthday, she bought me like, she's a big fan of Linda Halberg Cosmetics. So she bought me the Ultimate Lip um, Primer. I never used it. Uh, this is just a clear primer you put underneath your lipstick so it lasts longer, which is amazing. And then she, listen, I love her for that. And you know your true friends are the ones that give you lip products. Uh, she bought me two of these Fantastics by Linda Kahlbeck. And these, uh, this is um, Kiss of Life and Garnet. Listen, Kiss of Life is the one I was dreaming about. This is a gorgeous neutral color. Like it's gorgeous. It is in collaboration with uh, Simmons, somewhere Simmons. I don't even know. It's not on this and I totally forgot, but this is the shade. These are kind of a little bit more sheer, if you will. It's not too sheer though. And you can use them, of course, on the lips as well as on the cheeks. And listen, I wore this a lot because it's stunning. And Garnet is the other shade in this one. I thought straight up this could be like a black honey dupe it's not too pigmented you know a little bit of yeah i was wrong with that i was so wrong with that this is garnet this has way more pigmentation than i thought again you can use them as a cheek color as well as a lip color i feel especially 
I'm so sorry, but the Kiss of Life one definitely 100% is my I love it. Uh, the Garnet one is pretty though, really pretty. You can also, of course, like sheer it out, which I did, and it looked amazing. Um, let's go with more lip, lip products. Um, I bought um, two products from Rare Beauty. We will stick to this. Um, this is the Lip Oil in Honesty. It's gorgeous. And um, I do love it a lot. I did wear it a lot, to be honest. This is the shade. You can definitely detail. It is a little bit like seemingly the color I do love and prefer. Just saying. But yeah, it is gorgeous. Again, I absolutely love this and it is beautiful. And then the other lip product uh, I won't swatch because I still want to do a reel with it is the Pat McGrath uh, Nude Fantasia Satin and Lure Lipstick. And um, you know why I bought this, don't you? I mean, look at this. It's gorgeous. I didn't swatch this so far and I definitely want to try it. This one is a gorgeous lip color, totally up my speed. It's more of a yellowy nude, which gorgeous. I do have to say though, I feel like this packaging is a little bit cheap, like in comparison to this one, which is also plastic, don't get me wrong, but I don't know what it is. This one is looking more high-end. Uh, but again, I bought this because of the bow. And then let's talk about the other Red Beauty product. This is the blush and this is virtual. And um, I mean, listen, I will link the video where I tried a lot of these products, but this one is so damn pretty. Uh, if you have Bliss, this one is a little bit more um, deeper. I feel both of them are quite nice. They have the same color family. Again, this one is just a little bit more deeper, which I absolutely love. Okay, let's come to, I would say the next products, but listen, there are a lot. I also bought the NYX The Brow Glue in the shade Medium Brown, if I'm not mistaken. This one is a more warmer brown. Um, I did also try that in the video, if I'm not mistaken. This is a good, um, like, brush. To be honest, just a little bit of review, it didn't hold my brows into place. It is nice, but it's not the best brow product I ever tried. Also, the colors like are not so pink, which is nice, but you know, it's okay. It's not not my absolute favorite at all. I also bought um, the uh, Sephora Collection Foundation. This is the best skin ever, and this is in the shade 03P, which is a little bit light for me. I should have known that. Um, this is a little light. I mix it today with my nude, um, my nude foundation, which is this one. Um, I mix both of them together and that worked quite well. Um, I do like it. It is really nice. I do have to try it though a little bit more. And then I also bought, listen, I, I had a, like a full face moment, if you will. I also bought the new Milk Makeup Sculpting Sticks and this one is in the shade Toasted. And this is just a really small stick. Do love the color. It does blend really, really nicely. So in general, I do like the product. It's just like really, really small. And this is almost 30 bucks, just so you know, which is not my favorite, you know, because also the blushes that are in this smaller size are like 13 to $15. And this is again, 27 or something, which I don't like it all. Uh, again, I also bought um, a backup of my lash glue. This is the Essence Lash Glue and I do like it a lot. Just saying. I do like it a lot. And then we do have also the Pat McGrath Bronzer. This one is the Bronze Without Caution Glamour School and Regal Radiance. Um, this is the Skin Finish Divine Bronzer in Nude Honey. I am excited that I bought this one. I just don't like the packaging. It's just... I don't know what it is. It's just not open up like quite easily. Um, I do like that I chose this color. It is a little bit more neutral, which I like. I do have it on right now. Um, I did use it quite a bit and I do like it a lot. Um, there's a mirror as well. Again, the packaging itself is pretty, but I just, it is a little bit, at least maybe it's me. Maybe it's me, maybe I'm too dumb to open it. But yeah, you can definitely tell I use it a lot. 
the imprint is almost gone. Uh, I do like it. It's just that I don't like the imprint, just so, uh, the packaging a lot, just so you know. And then for eyeshadow palette, which I am wearing today, is the Muse by Cosmic Brushes. I bought this together with Anna from Alice and Nixie with Anna. Um, you know her already if you are a, um, a regular on my channel. Uh, I absolutely love her and she's always like hitting me up with stuff when she orders as well as I am. So this is the uh, Cosmic Brushes um, Muse palette. I did want to try it. I think the colors are beautiful and stunning and you definitely can tell I am wearing these colors today. There will be again a video on probably Thursday about, oh, uh, it will probably be up, let's say this, um, about the palette and a few looks with it. I did already use it once before in the get ready with me where i tried a lot of the uh, colors and first of all packaging stunning again the colors as well so far i really enjoy it because it's really really nice and then i also got some face jewels also by Ticket cosmetics again for my birthday and um to be honest they, they slid a little bit down they were a little bit higher up not like I should use them there but uh, I definitely want to try these I never had face jewels before I mean just the ones I put myself on myself but um, yeah I am super excited about this one because this is kind of cool so we'll see about that but yeah I am pretty excited about that I felt like this was a lot of product in April and to be honest I am I'm not stopping I I ordered a lot of things from Flower Nose. I don't know if that video about the review will be up already or it will be this week when this video is coming live. I will link it if it is already up and if it's not, I, you will see it this week. I did bought a lot of Flower Nose stuff, but it just came in in May. So just so you know, there are a few, a lot of things that uh, are coming in May as well. And I am super excited about that. I hope you are as well. And yeah, we'll see us in my next video. I hope you enjoyed your week. Bye guys.